Oh, hey there. Today we're gonna to be making a whole bunch of different snack recipes. So in today's video, we're gonna be making five different snacks. These are all really easy to make, they're wholesome, and we're gonna be making a considerable portion of each one. So that way you're gonna have snacks at the ready for whenever you're feeling hungry. And for all of our videos, we're always sharing kind of the measurements in cups and in tablespoons, but if you'd prefer grams and milliliters, that's something we always share on our blog. So if you're looking for the full recipe breakdown, I'm gonna leave those links for you in the description box below, as always, and for now, let's get snacking. For the first recipe, we're making this high protein lemon yogurt parfait. So to a bowl, we're gonna start by adding one cup of a plant-based Greek style yogurt. So Greek yogurt is characteristically more thick than regular yogurt and it also has a higher protein content just because of how it's made. Um, but if you don't have access to plant-based Greek yogurt, you could use just regular plant-based yogurt. Next, we're gonna add in a quarter of a cup of cashew butter or you could use peanut butter or almond butter. We're gonna follow this with two teaspoons of maple syrup and about one teaspoon of fresh lemon zest, as well as half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then we're gonna mash and stir this until it's nice and creamy. And so that's it. This you can store in the fridge. It has this like pudding mousse consistency, which is really nice. And then you can enjoy it just like this as like a flavored yogurt on its own. Or if you wanna put in just one extra minute of prep, we can make these really cute parfaits with it. So you can use some granola for this or a single crushed biscuit like I'll be doing here, which we're gonna layer into a cup or bowl or jar with a couple of spoonfuls of our prepped flavored yogurt. Then we can top it with some fresh fruit. You could always add a little bit more lemon zest if you'd like. And then that's it, you've got this super delicious and wholesome snack that looks like dessert. And the lemon zest is what elevates it and makes it really special and refreshing. If you'd like to meal prep and batch make an even larger portion of this flavored yogurt, be sure to check out the scaling feature on our website to scale those ingredients up or down. Tastes like dessert. For the next recipe, we're making these one bowl gluten-free banana coffee muffins. So these are super easy to make. To a large bowl, we're gonna add in three ripe bananas. The more ripe they are, the kind of sweeter these muffins are gonna be. And we're just gonna mash them until they're really pureed. Next, we're gonna add in three quarters of a cup of plant-based milk and one tablespoon of melted coconut oil, or you could use like an unflavored vegetable oil. And then we're gonna mix this until it's super well combined. Next, we can add in the dry ingredients, starting with one and a half cups of oat flour, followed by one cup of chickpea flour, half of a cup of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of instant coffee granules, two teaspoons of baking powder, and finally a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna mix this together again until it's well combined. So for the oat flour that we used, we just bought ours from the grocery store. If you wanted to make it yourself at home, you can, it's really simple. You just take regular old fashioned rolled oats and you add it to a food processor, you blitz it up and when you've got this like flour-like consistency, you're already done. And then for the chickpea flour that we used, we did it because we wanted to make these muffins gluten-free. We've been getting a lot of requests for that. Uh, and it's also a little bit more high in protein than regular flour. But if you wanted to sub it out for regular all-purpose flour, that should work too. When ready, we can spoon this mixture into the pre-greased wells of a muffin tin, filling each well about three quarters full. So this next step is an optional one, but I feel like it just makes the muffins look a lot more fancy and it makes it taste a little bit better too. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna add about two teaspoons of some granulated sugar into a small bowl. We're also gonna add in a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And then once we've given it a mix, we're just gonna sprinkle it over top of each muffin. And then what I also like to do is just to put one whole raw pecan onto the center of each muffin. Um, but you could always use like some chopped up chocolate here if you prefer or any other nut that you like. And then when ready, we can bake this in the center rack of a preheated oven at 400 Fahrenheit or 200 Celsius for about 16 to 18 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. These muffins are delicious to snack on with some tea or coffee or of course just even on their own and you could even enjoy a couple of them together with some plant-based yogurt to make a complete breakfast. They kind of taste like banana bread but in this cute little muffin form and with a mild coffee flavor. For the next recipe we're making this incredibly delicious green pesto. So to a small pan on medium high heat, we're gonna add half of a cup of raw walnuts and half of a cup of raw pine nuts. And we're gonna toast this while stirring throughout for about five minutes or until they become lightly golden. If you wanna speed this recipe up, you can always add some pre-roasted nuts instead, but I like to roast them fresh or toast them fresh uh, because it just makes the pesto a lot more fragrant and flavorful in my opinion. 
So once they're done, we're gonna transfer this all to a food processor, and we're also gonna add to it one super packed cup of fresh basil leaves, one cup of packed arugula, a third of a cup of nutritional yeast, a quarter of a cup each of olive oil and water. We're also gonna add in two cloves of garlic. We'll add in the juice from one full lemon, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and finally, some ground black pepper. Then we're gonna pop the lid onto the food processor and blitz this up until it's smooth and creamy. And that's it. It takes just less than 10 minutes to make this delicious and aromatic pesto that can be enjoyed with some crackers or veggies, or my favorite is to have it on some toast. It makes a considerable amount, but it is so good, you're likely gonna to wanna to finish it all in one go. For the next recipe, we're making these incredibly easy to make peanut butter cookie dough balls. So to a large bowl, we're gonna add in one cup of some puffed rice. We'll also add in one cup of peanut butter, half of a cup of toasted shredded coconuts can go in there as well, plus two tablespoons of maple syrup, but you could definitely add more if you prefer it to be sweeter. We'll add in half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract and finally an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Then we're gonna mix this together until it's well combined. So if you find that the mixture is still a little bit too wet to form into little balls with your hands, it might have to do with the nut butter itself. Some nut butters are a little bit inherently thicker and some are a little bit thinner. It also has to do with like if you're scooping it from the bottom of your jar, which tends to be thicker versus at the top of your jar. Um, so if it's the case that it's just a little bit too wet, you wanna just add a little bit more shredded coconut until you get a little bit of a, a consistency that's easier to work with. Then we're gonna be adding in a quarter of a cup of mini chocolate chips, but you could add any other add-in that you'd like. And then we're gonna mix this through. And once it's done, we're gonna gather up about a tablespoon of the dough into our hands and roll them into little balls. We're then gonna repeat this until all of the dough is used up. And if you'd like, you can also roll it into some more shredded toasted coconut. This recipe makes a pretty huge batch of the energy balls that can then be stored in the fridge or freezer, and you're gonna have snacks at the ready for whenever you need a pick-me-up. For the final recipe, we're making these crunchy nut butter stuffed dates. So all we wanna do for this is to slice some medjool dates down the center and extract the seeds. Then I'm gonna take this pretzel stick and snap it into little bits and place a few of the pieces into the date itself. If you don't have or don't love pretzels, feel free to skip this step. And then we're gonna cover each pretzel in a blanket of almond butter. So now I'm gonna give you an alternate version. So instead of using almond butter, you could use a super seed nut butter. You might remember that we mentioned this in a video like a few years back, but this combination has been like my go-to snack choice for a really, really long time. Uh, and we hadn't written up the recipe for this on the blog until now. So if you're interested in that, I'm gonna leave the recipe link for you in the description box below. Essentially, all you do to make it is you just add a whole bunch of seeds, whatever seeds you've got at home, into a jar of peanut butter or any other nut butter that you like, and you give it a mix, and then that's it. And then we can scoop these also over top of our dates and if you'd like to make these extra fancy you can always drizzle a little bit of chocolate over top but that's definitely optional and now these snacks are prepped and ready to enjoy in our home growing up dates and nuts were on the table for us to grab as a snack all the time and it was also something we always offered to friends or family who came over to have some tea so this brings back loads of childhood memories for me but my favorite part of these are the pretzels that we've snuck into the middle of each date because it gives it this overall like unexpected pleasant crunch, which is really, really nice. I love all of these recipes, so I really hope you get a chance to give them a try and that you love them too. And if you make any of our recipes, it would mean the world if you could leave a comment and a rating on that particular blog post. If you're looking also for more snack recipes and ideas, we have plenty of videos that we've done, so I'm gonna link one of them for you here and the rest for you in the description box below. And thanks so much for hanging with us today. Really appreciate it. Pickup Limes signing off, and we'll see you in the next video. I've got chocolate everywhere. <laughs> that was so not stealth. In store bought um, nuts here, but nuts? Yeah, these are nuts. We're good. <laughs>